go today with another video on perfect form and this time the exercise is dumbbell bent over rows. I like to do these both uh, arms at the same time. Some people like to bend over a bench to do them. I don't like doing them like that. I like doing them both at the same time. It requires a bit more concentration on the form but I like it as an exercise. First of all, you want to get up, use your legs, not your back. Once you're up, this is the most difficult part of the whole exercise. Even more probably more than doing the exercise itself. Getting into a position where your back is safe. Now what that requires you to do, it will depend on your body type, how tall you are, but you're trying to create a horizontal like table with your back where your lower back is, has got a nice curve in it, not arched over like that, which will hurt your spine. Chest up and outwards but you want it to be as parallel to the floor as possible. With me, I kind of use my thighs as a table, and once here, I'm ready for the, the position. What you want to do is bring it up like an elevator, as if you're trying to bring it into your waist, yeah? You'll feel your lats, for those who don't know, leave your lats, popping as you do it. So if I get back into that position, lower down. Now, you really have to tug up and high until you feel it in your lats. This is no good. That will work your biceps a little bit, but it won't really get that tug in your lats that you're looking for. Maintain symmetry because you want to build them evenly, of course. And remember, this is quite a difficult exercise. A little bit of run. So, bring it down, chest up and forward. Into your waist into your waist. It will require you to do a little extra <clears throat> at the top to really bring out the lats. When you're done, you can just bring it down and stand straight up. I love this exercise, I really feel it in my lats. It uh, takes a lot of the pressure off the biceps and focuses on the lats. Even though it does the biceps, it primarily hits those lats and really is a great back builder. Um, that's about it for the form. It's complex to do, but simple to explain. So have a few goes. A mirror or a window that's reflecting or videoing yourself will really help you to make sure that you're not doing it like this. You don't want to be doing that. You want that curve, not that arch. And even towards the end of the exercise when it starts getting heavier and you start losing your form, don't. Keep your focus on the form. No matter how difficult it is, keep feet together. Bum back and out, chest up and forward. And all the motion is coming from your arms. No, don't do this. Don't no, bring your legs into it. Have a go, practice a few times. Check yourself out in the mirror. Have someone look at you and see what they say. Protect your back at all costs and focus on this. I love this exercise. Some people do it with single arms. I prefer to do it with both arms at the same time. I really feel it as a, a great unilateral builder of the back muscles and the lats. Hopefully, it's been some help. Brad Aiden Johnson with another video on perfect form. Peace.